Welcome back. I'm here in the engine room with Jim Gillespie, the senior port engineer. And Jim, thanks so much for being here. So uh, tell us what happens down here. Well, this is the uh, heartbeat of the vessel. This is where all the uh, propulsion systems are located. This is where the main engines uh, put uh, power to the reduction gears and turn the propellers to move the vessel forward. The captain sends down a signal uh, for which way he wants the engines to operate. This is a twin screw boat, considered twin screw. That means there's two propellers. So the captain has two engines to uh, maneuver. So the chief engineer basically is in charge of the engine room and all the equipment in the engine room. It's a very unique engine. It came uh, from the submarines. U.S. submarines during World War II used these engines because they, they put twice as much power in a small footprint. And I know you've done some things to be eco-friendly. Well, we've done a lot of things to be eco-friendly over the years. And the major thing we have uh, going on right now is a project to repower the vessels. Uh, as much as we hate to get rid of the old Fairbanks Morse opposed piston diesel engines, we really love these engines for their simplicity and their uniqueness, but they are old engines. It's an old design. It's a 1938 design engine. Uh, we want to go modern with EMD or electromotive division engines, um, and they have all the latest uh, technology in them for fuel injection, electronic fuel injection, um, and they're all they all meet the new EPA uh, tier three regulations. All right, so what are the benefits when you make this change? Well, the benefits are better fuel consumption, um, increased horsepower, so we'll be able to run the vessel at a higher speed, and definitely a uh, decrease in the pollutants that the uh, engine puts out. Jim, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Uh, we'll be right back with more Ferry Vision.